don't need that much equipment. You don't need like hundred people in a set. You can literally go with like eight people, have a great story, really good actor, and you're good to go, man. You're ready to go. Hmm, we are good man, we have a lot of sunshine. So when are we ready? Rolling. I'm rolling. Action. The name of the film is like, where are you going right? There is a word in Hindi called Idhar Udhar. That's my life just generally. When I'm actually off, and I'm just like not thinking about much, I'm just like moving. I think that uh, comes out in the film really well. Ritika, something like this? Yes. Everything that Milo does, I have derived from observing Aditya, like what he does. The idea was that she never leaves her camera. It's like an extension of her hand. We really think Milo has been like recreating what I do because sometimes I feel like, oh, like, oh, that's how I move, that's how I look, you know. Sound is ready? Yeah. So I'm used to using the XT4 for all my shoots and all my stuff. And then I held this camera. The first reaction was really good that like it's got like a deeper grip and I can actually hold it like comfortably. We are in like a midday, approximately it's 12 p.m. This will test the dynamic range and every single thing about this camera, overheating and all that. So we thought we'll challenge that. We'll also take one shot from that bridge, one top-down shot because we didn't want to add a drone shot into the film. So we are doing with the same camera. Action. <laughs> Great shot. Throughout, I've been like only literally shooting with the camera and the lens and one reflector probably when we wanted to cut light and stuff. But this has got like this F-Log 2 in the new camera. So I can literally recover almost all highlights, go back, go back. clean shadows. So one more thing I uh, noticed is the top display thing, which is very handy, especially to see how much card is left and how much battery is left. So it's actually helping me be like really aware of the situation and wherever I am. In XH2, I wanted like the 4K 120 and then they gave me, I'm so happy. And it also has this full-sized HDMI cable and the internal ProRes, which is amazing for such a small body. Initial days, I remember shooting only in like, like a certain period of time in the day, like 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and then like say 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. Now I shoot throughout the day, man. It's absolutely insane, man, where we have come. So we're actually doing the last shot of the film and the first shot of the film. Uh, we're planning to do in the same light. Action. But I'm blocking a little bit for the end parts. Uh, but it's almost pitch dark here. Just a little bit of window light is there. We'll see how it goes. Next. Next. Oh, look at this. 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 Keep taking this. See this? Even the walking one looks so cool. Man, you should check some of these shots, dude. We shot it like some 8,000 ISO and stuff. But still, you know, like, look at this. You see this? Man, it's crazy, dude. And these are gonna straight make it to the video, you know? I couldn't believe that, what I was seeing. You guys were seeing my, it was almost pitch dark. Did you see it in my, it was just crazy. We don't stop. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go that side. <laughs> what? this side? No, towards us. I always shoot something for myself, you know. For me, the best thing about a day or like traveling is waking up early in the morning and just exploring the streets all by myself. 
with my camera clicking pictures meeting new people understanding them um, come closer closer and then if you have a new equipment i think there's nothing better than just taking a walk and just understanding the camera oh okay camera beautiful man you're beautiful <laughs> thank you man thank you so much you want to see it oh thank you Beautiful, no? Yes. <laughs> See this? Lovely, no? Thank you. Welcome. Feel like, like in sometimes I'm just like only seeing things in boxes, right? Like after a point when you're in photography and cinematography, like you confine everything into like a rectangular box, right? And that's a very weird way of seeing things. because it's so vast but at the same time i feel there's something very beautiful in there where you can actually confine it to my space and then capture it and make it a frame of my own but when i'm traveling or when i'm with myself sometimes i don't shoot i just sit and enjoy because no matter how much i try to confine and put it in that box it just never comes man it's just never that three dimensional realistic image you know It's not that great. <laughs> These cameras, I think, like version by version, uh, they are trying to achieve that, right? Like to make it as three-dimensional as possible and make it as realistic as possible, close to the eye, right? So yeah. But like that's my quest, I guess. <laughs> that's everybody's quest. It's not bad. Let's go check it. It's amazing, man. Like how the cameras are moving so, so fast, so forward. Such a small camera can produce cinema quality. And I just love shooting with smaller cameras because if I ask my actor to act keeping like this huge, big camera in front of her face, it would be completely different than just me shooting from the hip with the smaller camera. That just changes the entire perspective of how we make films, also, and creatively, also it. it just makes the film so much more better i think that is something that nobody talks about and that is something i really keep pushing with like new filmmakers because when you have technology when when you have companies like fuji film pushing these smaller cameras why not use those tools and make films like with the equipment that we have and that's the whole idea of what we are doing this film also you don't need that much equipment you don't need like 100 people in a set you can literally go with like eight people have a great story really good actor and you could to go man you really go that makes me so much more powerful in my opinion i am i feel i feel charged i feel ready to go for any kind of work so yeah